Hey everyone, um, again it's been a while, I seem to not be doing too many videos these days, but um, a couple of people have been asking me about uh, 360 degree turret rotation and ASP, when, so I've decided to make this video, this is about ASP I guess, but um, it also relates really to any uh, 360 degree um, turret mod you might want to do. Um, first of all, to do your 360 degree turret, you're going to need one of these little beasts, a uh, slip ring. Uh, in this video I'm going to do a 12-way a slip ring so that uh, we can have an IR functional 360 degree turret for ASP. Now these slip rings you can buy on eBay and of course uh, there are quite a f there are a few around like I think Tajin and other companies make mods, I'm sure you're familiar with them. But uh, unless you're sticking exactly to how they have their tank set up uh, then really the slip rings you get custom, well, you, you get made up, bulk made up, they may not suit your application. And I know very few of them actually do IR, um, so this one I wanted to do IR. Once you've got your slip ring, now you're going to have to get yourself some crimps to do JST, uh, XH and PH connectors and also your standard DuPont servo style connectors. Now, um, you know, th these crimps are, well, I think I probably paid about $40 maybe for these on eBay, but they're a great investment. I mean, really, if you're serious about RC tanks and serious about RC in general and uh, doing any sort of modifications, you really can't uh, get away without making up your own cables. So you'll need a set of crimps and also on eBay, you'll also find all the the um, well, the actual crimps themselves. That you got crimping pliers, and then the crimps and the plugs, for example, are readily available on eBay. Okay, so slip ring, some crimping pliers, and some crimps. You'll need to get. Now, let's turn to ASP. Uh, I've figured out it's probably you need a minimum of a 12-way system to get a 360 degree turret working on ASP okay and um, this is the bottom end here and how have I got this wired up uh, it's really a bit here we go okay first thing you need to do um, because 12 ways uh, there's it more if you didn't have such a system you'd have more than 12 wires going up into your turret so with um, when you're doing your slip ring you have to minimize the number and um, uh, and double up in some cases. I don't, I, hopefully that makes sort of makes sense. But uh, for example, I'll start with this connector first. Um, this connector here I've set up to look after the recoil servo. So you've got your recoil servo signal um, plus five volt plus wire, and then your ground. Now lots of other things in the current, of course, will require that. So the the five volt plus and the ground wire here. In these three are going to supply all the other units. Now I'll get towards that at the end. But first thing I've made up is getting some servo style connectors. Make up a servo style connector, three-way connector there, and that will be your recoil servo, and it also will supply your five volt supply to all the other items in your turret. So and that of course with ASP that plugs in here. It'll be a long video if I take forever to plug things in. Okay, now as I said, it's going to be IR. So let's look at our IR plug, our five-way IR plug. Now that's our five-way IR plug. Probably should have used a better towel other than white. Now as you can see, we only really need, we're only interested in two wires. Okay, on your IR plug, your five-way, you've really got your uh, signal for your flashing LEDs and signal for the IR receiver. The other pins on the other side are basically 5 volts, 5 volts positive and ground. Now they're already taken up with these so we only need two pins, two wires um, there and there uh, for your 5 pin plug and that of course goes in here on ASP. Now your IR emitter Although you could get away with just using one wire, I think it's probably best to use two. 
Okay, so I've connected up a JST PH plug, two two way plug there, using two wires for my IR emitter, which will go in here. The video is going to be long because it's going to take ages for me to plug things in. Okay, so that's basically your IR system taken care of. Remembering too that later on, further up in the turret, we're going to have to make a connection to the IR system with this, the positive and negative. Okay, now I have here a single servo style connector and that is for any... Um, if you're going to use a servo for your barrel elevation and that will plug into whatever channel you're using on your receiver for your elevation. Do I have a receiver hanging around? No, probably not. Okay, so set one aside to go straight into your receiver for your elevation servo. Okay, that leaves us with just a couple more wires. What else do we need up in the turret? We need, of course, if we don't have our elevation, we need elevation motor so take two wires okay now I know you're probably thinking well you're gonna need one or these um, probably best to still keep it like this because if you don't have the elevation servo you can always use this for something else okay another another lead so two wires into a JST XH plug that will look after your elevation motor and on ASP that will plug in up here so you need two wires for your elevation motor leaving us with just these two remaining wires okay this one here okay goes in one wire goes into a single JST PH plug which is one of the smaller plugs and if you put it in that side that's the signal for and you can use that for either your machine gun or your auxiliary light. I would suggest your coaxial machine gun. So that becomes our coaxial machine gun. Again, remember that we're going to be getting the positive uh, and negative supply for all these from the wire that we first connected up. And that plugs in here into your machine gun port, leaving us with this final one. Okay, this final one is uh, for whether you're using a LED flash or your high voltage flash. And that is just, we just, again, just need the signal because we're going to be getting the, the supply further upstream. So we just plug that into a three-way JST XH and that goes into our flash port, which is situated here. Okay, and so there we have... Of course, I don't have my receiver here. All our wires set up for a 360 degree turret rotation. Now, this end. Okay, I'm going to actually stop the video here because I'm going to do this in two parts. That was part A. After a lot of thought, uh, I think the best way to then handle this end is to create a little PCB. And, um, and then have connections off of that. Now that PCB is actually being produced right now and I hope to have it in, in just a few days, by the end of the week hopefully. So part two of this video will show you, will show the connections of these wires onto the PCB that I've uh, designed up, which will allow for, again, your 360 degree turret. Okay, thanks for watching part A. Stay tuned for part B.